We're in Chula Vista, California now with a wheelchair tennis luminary for an exploration of all the intricacies of the game. My name is David Wagner. I play wheelchair tennis and I've been ranked in the top three in the world for 13 years now. I've represented US of A in all four Paralympics, traveled the world winning and playing in many Grand Slams, and uh, I just love the sport of wheelchair tennis. Well, I got injured in 1995 when I was 21. It took me about four years to learn about wheelchair tennis, so I was around the age of 25 when I started. I originally was playing table tennis and I really enjoyed it and the same reason that I gravitated to table tennis is the same reason I gravitated towards wheelchair tennis. It's something that I can do with my able-bodied friends. You don't need to have people in a wheelchair so it's pretty inclusive of all disabilities whether you're standing or sitting. The only rule change with wheelchair tennis is we get two bounces if we need it. The second bounce can be anywhere. The first bounce has to be within the regulation court, whether that's singles or doubles. I'm gonna have to be able to hit a forehand, and I've gotta be able to hit a forehand with topspin. I've gotta be able to hit a forehand that's flat. I've gotta be able to hit a forehand with slice. And the same thing goes to the backhand side so that you can mix it up, just like a, a pitcher in baseball, right? We don't always just throw fastball, fastball, fastball. Same with the serve, you know, flat serve, spinny serve, slice serve. You just gotta be able to hit every stroke, and if you keep missing the ball, you're not gonna win any matches. I mean, you, you've gotta be able to put it within the line, the confines of the court, whether you're playing singles or doubles. And, you know, being in a chair, you are sitting at a lower projectile than, than say, an able-bodied person who's hitting the ball up higher. So that adds a, an element of a challenge to getting that ball in. Precision is, is key, you know, just if you're not precise with your shot selection and then the placement of that ball, the chances of winning matches isn't going to be very high. If you haven't seen it, you'll be amazed at how good the tennis is and I've been told that you forget about the wheelchairs and you just see tennis and, and that, that's the ultimate compliment, right, is, is to be doing something at such a high level that you aren't seeing the disability anymore. I think the most important skill in wheelchair tennis is it's kind of twofold. Obviously, you got to be able to hit the ball, but when you incorporate the ability to maneuver the chair, if you can't get to the ball, it doesn't matter, right? So I, I would have to say your chair mobility and the ability to figure out how to get from point A to point B to strike that ball is crucial. The majority of guys are using about 20 to 22 degrees of camber, and camber is when your wheels are angled out. There's been a lot of studies and research done on that actually as to what exactly it does. And in reality, we've kind of come to learn that your center of gravity makes you turn quicker, but the camber keeps you stable. So you can lean way out from side to side and not worry about the whole chair tipping over. We can go with a wider wheelbase that keeps us more stable, which in turn has allowed us to sit a lot higher than, than we would have in the past. Classification issue is always an issue within disability sports. Obviously, you try to get like disabilities playing like disabilities, and that doesn't always happen. You, you, you always will have people that are pushing the line and, and stretching the limit of the line. But with that being said, you know that going in, that person is physically stronger than you and has less disability than, say, someone like myself. So I, I try to pull off of my experience, basically, to say, man, I've, I've been in this situation before. I've hit this shot 10 million times. If I hit my best shot and they still run it down because they're physically stronger than me, they're going to beat me that day. But I'm still going to stick to my plan. I'm going to be precise and I'm going to use my physical athleticism as well as my brain and my experience to try and outplay, outwit, outmatch my opponent. I absolutely love everything about wheelchair tennis. I love all aspects. I love training my butt off and uh, trying to be in great shape and learn new shots, you know, and per perfecting the shots I already have. Um, I, I just, I love, I love absolutely everything about wheelchair tennis. 